presents Burn and Learn in 30 Minutes with DSM Mastery Hey, 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 how is it going guys, Brofist? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna discuss about DSM Mastery Part 2, which will uh, cover the, uh, the understanding and the defining of the parts of the Trade Skill Master. So, uh, I'm gonna try to explain to you on the easiest way possible how we can understand all these things like groups and uh, operations, auctioning, crafting, mailing, what all these things uh, represent and what TSM as add-on represents by itself. So I've decided to do the uh, uh, kind of uh, drawing uh, part of this, I mean uh, in a drawing way, how I can uh, uh, explain to you. I've done some researches and I think that uh, the easiest way how we can understand is if I actually draw to you because I think that the visual center of the brain gives you the, uh, the biggest uh, understanding and uh, uh, it will give you the creativity to make yourself a visual image of the whole island and how that works. So I'm gonna try to explain to you how you can get uh, lots of gold and how, how you can make uh, lots of uh, auctioning and stuff. As you can see, lots of things are selling. I have like uh, 700 items that I post in like 15 minutes uh, in, in a day and all this done by one, uh, clicking like one button uh, with a couple of settings before that. So let's move on to the uh, to the um, understanding. I'm gonna try to change the scene here, so you can actually see a smaller camera and on the other corner, so you can see me here. Hello, and I'm gonna call uh, the paint here to help me out. All right, so let's move on with the with the explanation. I'm uh, first. What you need to understand: the trade skill master is not as hard add on as everyone thinks. It's really simple, uh, uh, to be honest. So, uh, but to, in order to understand how simple it is, I'm gonna try to draw here for you. So let's move on. We're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to imagine that uh, trade skill master addon is a big robot octopus uh, kind of thingy that you need to program before you can use it. So uh, let's first draw the head, right? So I'm gonna try to draw the head. Let's just put some eyes here, right? And then you have a nose, and then you have a mouth, and probably have a tongue out because you're giving everyone your tongue out. Man, this is more like a potato, but let's go for the video. Let's just, yeah, without a hat. What kind of octopus is without a hat, bro? Let's be honest here. Right, I'm just gonna, um, yeah, just click, uh, pick, uh, I mean, pay close attention to what I'm doing here because, uh, trust me, after this, you're gonna, you, you're gonna understand TSM completely. All right, so the, the head is the main part of everything, right? Mostly, because there is uh, that's where the brain is. So for, for the TSM, we're gonna uh, also think of the same. This is the brain of the trade skill master, right? And then we have a uh, couple things in the brain, right? Let's just put uh, items, wait. I'm gonna make one module in the brain called items. Items. And I'm gonna make another module called prizes. So these are the main parts of the of the brain of the uh, trade skill master. So you need to program these things up. So uh, items are something that you need to put as a groups. So groups are uh, the the main part of the brain, and they are basically an items you need to give into the into the robot. Because if you don't put items in, inside the robot, for example, if you don't uh, tell him, all right, embers will ba uh, bag from now on, it's in your brain. So you, when you go to auction house or when you go to the mailbox, you you will always know that you have an embers will bag. If you don't put embers will bag in the, into the brain of the robot, he will not program it well. And when it goes to auction house and search for like overpriced or underpriced bags or whatever you want to do with the embers look bag, whether you want to craft it or sell it or buy it, he will not recognize that. There is like millions of items on the auction house. And if you want a uh, trade skill master to uh, understand, you need to put them in the in, into the memory of the trade skill master brain. So the items is something that user defines. The prices, however, it's something that comes from the TSM desktop application. Thank you to uh, to the developers of the uh, uh, trade skill master add-on. The uh, the trade skill master uh, desktop application is one of the best thing that actually it's currently on the add-on market or whatever on on the world of warcraft section of, of yeah anyway items are something that you put for for example we're gonna go with, with bags like embers look bag or something uh you want to put some uh, items into the uh memory first so you want to have bag uh first 
and I don't know something else. Uh, let, let's let's put some uh, I don't know like turn small item, turn small item, and then you want to have something I don't know like uh, junk, right? Junk that you buy from vendor or whatever. So uh, you you basically define the memory of the trade skill master. Without this memory, trade skill master will not operate. You know he don't know he don't recognize the items. He don't know what items there are unless you point them on. So he will go like, all right, we are walking human there. I don't know what's that. Let's move on. All right, dog there. I don't know what's that. You know. So th that's basically how TSM works. So if you put them, all right, human. And the robot just goes and it calls, oh, human, all right, what, what we are programmed to do with the human? All right, talk with the human, give some nice nice words, share the love, whatever, you know, you just put the things later. So, uh, we understand what the groups are now, right? So, groups are the, the, the collection of items that you're going to put in the uh, brain of the trade skill master, Adam. And uh, later, you will need to apply an operation to that. So, what... What the brain will do with all those uh, items that you're gonna put, with all those, uh, that memory that you're gonna put, what uh, uh, it's actually responsibility of the operations that you're gonna put. So why I said octopus? Because pay close attention now. So you have an arm, one arm of the octopus. You have a m muscle that will be that we call calculator or calculation or whatever, and then you you, you have an arm, right? So you have one module, one operation, auction house buy right and then you have another one muscle arm then you have another one auction house sell right then you have another one let's let's just make the mail mail mailing next right so you have the mailbox here uh this is the place where usually people dance for money but it doesn't matter uh later we have another muscle then we have another arm and then we have what what else uh yeah we have the vendoring warehouse and which is basically uh cleaning up you know you, you need uh, i mean you want to uh, keep your bags clean but you have you need to know what to do with the items that's where the vendors and uh, warehousing is actually coming so vendor uh how i can actually make an image for this let's try to make a vacuum cleaner right what well, vacuum cleaner there you go that's vacuum cleaner right so that's vendoring and warehousing and then you have another operation these are all the operations that you can apply to the items so we have uh what else the crafting right uh we're gonna go with uh, tailoring here yeah this is crafting crafting or ta uh, yeah tailor for example you know you need to make an operation for the tailoring so What's happening next? You have the brain memories, you have the operations. So what those operations are doing, if the groups are actually a memory that uh, have uh, item ID and everything inside, what are the operations? So the operations are the next uh, thing. You want, you want to use the buying, for example, uh, the, the shopping uh, operation. And what, what you want to do? All right, I want to um, get the, this, uh, I don't know, like transmog items. I want to get this transmog item from the memory go through the calculator find 15 percent value and then go to the auction house and buy everything that is below 15 percent so that's what the operation does when you go when you actually use the buying operation right um let's let's try the selling right i have already crafted bags right and i want to go with the bag through this muscle calculator uh and i want to sell this for I don't know, 150% of the normal price that is on auction house or that uh, these prices. So basically what this does, let me just delete this for a second. So what this does, it ga it basically go goes, all right, I want to go to the bag, check the price, right? Uh, check the price of the bag, like normal price. What's 100% of, of the Embers bag, for example, 250, all right. Uh, TSM prices or TSM desktop application uh, uh, gives me that. So I, I have the 100% price. So I, I move, I, I, I get that price or I get that item uh, data, all the data for the item and I move it to the calculator and then it go, you go to auction house and you buy that, for, I mean you sell that for 100% because it's the selling or auctioning part of the uh, operation basically. So you want to sell this for 150. This muscle or the calculator or the operation, it's uh, responsible for programming 
what this items are, uh, you know, what this item interaction is with the other part of the World of Warcraft, basically, with the auction house or with the crafting or with the professions or whatever. This is for the selling, you want to interact with the auction house. So what you do is a uh, bag, uh, check the bag price, all right, 100% of the price is 250, all right, move that to the operation, operation, please calculate what's 150 and post that automatically for me for 150 on auction house. So this is the selling part, right? Then the mailbox, for example, you're logged into, I don't know, like Bonk or Budala, let's say, that's my one of my char. Budala is your tailor, that's the tailor. So you've, you've crafted 300 of the bags, right? You have 300 bags. So what you do? You want to sell all these to uh, to Bonk and you have already operation here. Send to Bonk. This is the operation here or the mini operation or whatever. And what you want to do? It's get the bag. Every every bag that you have, 300 bags. You want to, uh, you want to uh, uh, make TSM. All right, do I have bags in the memory? Oh, I have bags in the memory. In that case, get the bags from the memory. Use this uh, mini operation. Use this calculator to actually uh, go through the calculator and uh, uh, define. All right, I have operation send to Bong. And when you click the button, which is, uh, which is here, right? You go to a TSM groups uh, in the mailbox and you want to click. All right, click mail selected groups. And everything that is uh, uh, in that uh, operation, in this case, send all the uh, bags to uh, Bonk, it will send all the bags to Bonk automatically. So basically it makes your life easier just by clicking one button, you have everything already set up, whether buying, selling or mail mailing. What's the vendor of warehousing? You have something called junk, right? Uh, you have a group called junk or you have memory module that co is called junk. And you want all that junk to go to the vendor, right? And what you do is take all that junk through the uh, through the calculator of the uh, operation uh, operations basically, uh, and uh, you, you want to tell to the trade skill master. All right, whenever I see the vendor, I want you to automatically sell all the junk to the vendor. So that's what the vendor uh, the vendor does. So vendor vendor all the junk, all junk. So that's what uh, the vendoring does. The warehousing is di uh, acting differently. I want to go to the guild bank. And I want to deposit all the items that I don't need or, the, or I want to restock. For example, I have five Amber Silk bags, but I want to have 20 uh, in, in, my, in my bags all the time. So what, what I want to do is make a mini operation uh, or, or operation that will actually uh, uh, go to the guild bank. And if you have any bags from that, I just click restock button and it will take all the bags. And it, I will always constantly, whether I have uh, 1 million uh, bags in my, in my guild bank or I have like 100 bags, I want to have 20 in my bags. So it will take... Everything that I'm missing, if I have three, it will take 17 from the guild bank and put them in my bank. Because when I ha go to auction house, I want to post all that shit to auction house. So that's what warehousing does. Next thing that we're gonna uh, uh, talk about is crafting. Crafting is one of the most complex uh, operation on of all of them. And it, 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 it requires like uh, explaining on its own a detailed explanation of the crafting, what crafting does. But I'm gonna do a uh, uh, video for each of these in detail, explained in like five or ten minutes maximum uh, per video that you're gonna get detailed explanation of that all. But what crafting does for the for for the sake of this video, uh, crafting, it's an operation that uh, basically this is what it happens. It, it happens. All right. So I have. Uh, I don't know, materials, right? Materials here in the main module. So what they want to do is check the material prices, right? This is what uh, this is what it does. Uh, check the material prices. It checks, all right? Give me that prices. So it, it gives you mad prices according to the auction house. It gives this to the, uh, to the, to the calculator of this uh, operation or the muscle of this operation uh, of this octopus, for example. And it gives the math prices, all right? So we know the math prices, what we need to uh, craft. For example, we want to craft bags or uh, check all the uh, items that I have already in the module, which we have only bags here. Check the bag prices on auction house. What's the 100%, 100% uh, on the uh, on the auction house of the bags, right? So uh, in this module here of the crafting operation, we have the prices of the materials and we have the prices of the bags 
calculate how many materials of these materials we need for, for crafting one bag and tell me the profit. If the profit, so uh, you want to have another operation, right? You want to have another operation. This is like the main uh, arm and we, we are just making a mini operations, just operation to operate with different items and stuff. So uh, I want to uh, I want to give me how much the bag will cost me to, uh, according to the prices on auction house, how much this bag will cost me to craft it and uh, if the bag is actually 250 and the uh, the materials are uh, costs like 100 gold then you're gonna give me then you're gonna craft that automatically when I craft uh, when I click the craft button if the if it give me if it will give me 150 gold profit so what this arm does is check on a, uh, uh, on on the prices data all right materials are costing 80 gold all right, the crafting cost, the everything else costs like 20 gold, right? Uh, the bag price on auction house is 250. So if 250 minus the material prices, which is 80, are, are more than 150 gold, then craft this automatically. So that's what the crafting operation does. So basically, you have all these octopus, all these trade skill master. Uh, you don't care what's programmed behind that. What you care about is what that interface or what this add-on does for you so this is what the add-on does for you you uh, don't don't really go into the but wait how, how this is programmed how does this shit works don't worry about that you need to know what the add-on does for you and all these complicated image here uh, uh, that I just draw uh, try to draw basically that looks like a potato but it's octopus robot let's call it uh, it, it it's representing the whole TSM structure or what the uh, TSM does this is just a basic shit but for, uh, on the next video, we're gonna uh, cover. We're gonna start covering how to make the first group. What's the group? Uh, what the other options about the group and everything else? Then we're gonna go through the crafting. Then we're gonna go through the auctioning. That you know. So basically, I'm gonna try to explain how to uh, how to uh, consume all this image, how to consume all the knowledge that I'm giving to you now, and how to make from this image to make something that happens like this in like one day. You get I don't know 17k gold just by selling something for 12 hours or whatever or uh, how to post all these 700 auctions in 5 minutes or less or 10 minutes or, or, or 15 minutes or I don't know how much groups and everything you're gonna, you're gonna have. Alright, so uh, that was the basic uh, understanding and basic uh, explanation of, of the add-on and if you want to know, I mean, let me just show you something, right? Uh, in the previous videos I have explained how to craft uh, how to farm Skyfire Diamond recipe or Chaotic Skyfire Diamond. You see, Skyfire Diamond I'm selling for 1k. The crafted one I'm selling for 3.7. If you want to know how to cra uh, farm the... If you're Joe Crafter and you want to fa farm the recipe, please check out the video. Or if you want to farm uh, Gar Nighthole, which I sell for 3.3 here or 4k uh, sometimes, check out the other video, right? So I have videos for all these stuffs, but from the next uh, videos, I'm gonna sh uh, explain you everything in detail about TSM, how to craft this, how to do this, how to do that, and everything will be a breeze and everything will be automatically for you, and you will actually have the total or professional understanding of TSM in really low uh, low amount of time spent. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and if you like the video, please like. Uh, and uh, yeah, if I forgot something, feel free to write that in the comment from the next uh, videos and stuff. I'm gonna cover up everything. And there, uh, there is a lot of other things that I will cover, like sniping, how to uh, actually benefit just by using Ocean House without farming anything or anything like that. Anyway, thank you guys again. Love you much. No homo, bro fist. Until the next time, stay cool, listen to your parents, and humor and off. Special thanks to all those who are supporting me on Patreon. Proscribe, follow, support me on Patreon, win awesome prizes, get early access to guides and more, or check some of the previous stuff. Introduction, installation and uh, everything actually that you need to know about the interface of the add-on uh, as for start. Uh